Welcome to a brand new video guys. We've just arrived here in the city of Amsterdam. We actually took a train going from Paris all the way here with the Talis line, which by the way, it's such a great way to get around. We are gonna be exploring a city that I personally have never been to and already I'm seeing it's totally different than anywhere I've ever been before. Small and quaint, it has these beautiful gingerbread style homes right along the canal. You've got everybody on bicycles despite it being winter. Like I said, there is a lot to show you guys here and we've got three days to do it and after showing you how to travel Amsterdam I'll also be showing you at the very end of this video how you can get your beautiful website up and running today using Squarespace I'm sure you've heard it before but Amsterdam's biking culture is on another level everyone the young the old they're all getting around by bike year-round and they actually have so many different bikes here just locked up against the canal the old basket attachment a very common move but the one that I love seeing the most is when you see like a mom with three kids on the back of her bike oh gosh, with these little awesome. seats all attached it's hilarious I cannot even take like a bag a shopping bag in my bike without falling we are right now at this place called picnic and so it's kind of an interesting method of ordering you actually pick by the number of items that you want in this case all the items are kind of small but I did three items maybe I could have done four if I was really hungry but everything's kind of like bread based I got a goat cheese dark bread full chicken amazing arugula with goat cheese on brown bread out of this world this place was 22 euros for both of us to have a really amazing lunch have a hot chocolate and in my case a latte That's so good really good value mm -hmm. now it's time to get some apple pie at what is supposedly the best apple pie in all of Amsterdam. Everybody's having apple pie. <laughs> Whipped cream is on point. I really love the apple pie, but I wish it was warm. I have to say that. But aside from that, like, it's very, very good. Kathy and I split it. I want another <laughs> You know you're in a good relationship when you can share a dessert. I want to show you where we're staying because it's been an amazing part of our journey here so far. Inside that place right there called Mr. Jordan. Mr. Jordan. Double A's. Jordan. I think it's actually Jordan. And this room is so, so trendy. So this is actually like a three-star hotel. Very, very well priced for what it is. Like it's so beautifully decorated. You've got a huge communal downstairs workspace. There's like all day complimentary coffee. An oversized bathroom with his and her sink. This is really, really spacious. Even with our 65 bags, our other guests that we travel with. <laughs> I think I cut your head. So that right there is actually Anne Frank's house. This is where she hid during the war with the Nazi Germans. This is one of the things that you'll probably end up doing if you come to Amsterdam. It's not exactly something that makes you feel good, but it's important to recognize what happened in the past. They had a very tiny living quarter and a lot of people in there. And eventually the Nazis did find them. They were actually caught right at the end of the war. Of the eight that were in hiding, seven of them were killed in concentration camps. And one of them, the father, was the only one that got away from it all. Not a feel-good moment here in Amsterdam, but definitely something you'll want to do. This is your second time doing it, yeah? Yeah, and I cry both times. Yeah, it's really sad. tough to see that. This right here is Amsterdam Central, and as you can see, it's a lot busier. The second you cross that canal entering into the central area, it becomes a lot more like what you'd expect from a busy European city. So from here on out, I'll be referring to our friendly green friend as Herb, because otherwise my video is going to get demonetized. <laughs> and we will call solicited services by women as expensive hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch me now, YouTube. Now, expensive hugs are actually just found outside of this area here. Herb is found all around here. All sorts of shops selling cylindrical tubes used for the herb. You see it being sold in all the storefronts. Come to think of it, I think I saw this at Home Depot the other day. Must have been a DIY kit. Definitely very touristy here. Very, very touristy. So very touristy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Welcome to Amsterdam, dudes. <laughs> My name's Chad. <laughs> I'm this close to break up with you. Just gonna find myself some herb. I think this is the kind of spot that any real local probably wouldn't want to come into. But, uh, you know, we are visitors and we're gonna see what it's all about. <laughs> and you know this store is doing better than any Dunkin' Donuts in America. Amsterdam is well known for having amazing cheese. And you will find this kind of cheese stores everywhere in the center. 
And you know guys, what's the best part about that? Tell me. You can try the cheese, like all of that. So let's go. Herbs and garlic cheese. It's so good. We've just walked all the way through that little shopping area and now we're in Dam Square, which is the central like Amsterdam district. You've got like a big open courtyard setting. The sky is kind of ugly today. Got a nice gray sky, but it's pretty horrible. It's horrible, but Amsterdam is such a beautiful city that it doesn't matter. No, it's true. Overall, it's it's a really, really pretty city. I'm shocked at how small it is. We're probably about five minutes away from the red light district, which by the time we get there, it's gonna be pretty close to dark. So we've just walked through the red light and for obvious reasons, I couldn't really film it because first of all, there's big no film signs. Secondly, it's gonna demonetize the video. And thirdly, because you need to respect that these ladies do not wanna be on YouTube. It is kind of, in my opinion, a very, very sad place. How it works is you're walking through like some of these narrow alleyways, some of it's even on the canal and you've got red lights everywhere and you'll see ladies either waiting by the window, some of them are wearing lingerie. They're kind of like eyeing up what they hope to be their next customer. For me, this is not my side of Amsterdam, but uh, it is nonetheless a big part of what people know of Amsterdam, and whether you want to explore it or not is totally up to you. We've had an incredible dinner. You have to check out Bleu. I had like the most amazing dinner with steak, Katy had mussels, I had a Dame Blanche, which is basically like a vanilla ice cream fudge sundae. It was so amazing. It was about 65 euros, but for the two of us to eat the way we did was worth every single one of them. Now we're gonna go get ourselves a bike so that we can get around on this beautiful gray rainy day. You're officially an Amsterdamian. I am. That just reminded me of the best story from last night. Kathy and I were walking around. Um, there was this local couple both riding on the same bike and this lady was going cling 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 and I, I didn't clue in that she was like making a bell noise and I'm like they have the weirdest language here and Kathy's like no I don't think they're speaking Dutch they're just making a bell noise cling cling no is that a line well sometimes the good places require a little waiting. So from the outside, it looks like a tiny cute little pancake shop, but from the inside, it's like a Fortune 500 company. They've got like lines out the door. They've got like probably a good 50 tables in here. This place is doing business. So let's see if it lives up to the hype. We both got savory pancakes. I got the French. I got the Canadian because I love you. Aww. And mine has my two favorite things in the entire world sun-dried tomatoes and goat cheese. I see why it's busy and I would definitely recommend if you're coming to Amsterdam, come check this place out because food's amazing. So we just arrived to the 9th street. It's a very popular area for shopping. It has a lot of coffee shops. It's just really trendy. And it's called like that because it has 9th streets and also three canals. I see why nobody bothers with the car. You can get from place to place so fast and it's really fun actually. It's like all brick streets but it's super smooth, easy riding little tiny canals, a little magical experience here as we go through the 9th streets. Five minutes away from 9th street with a bicycle and you're over in the flower market on the southern end of central Amsterdam. I think this might be a bit of a summer destination here. Maybe it'd be a little bit more vibrant. There's tulip season which is in the spring and that's one of the times where you can come and see extremely beautiful vibrant fields full of tulips. That'd be a really cool time to come see Amsterdam. Alright guys, take note here because I'm about to show you the world's best pickup line. Thank you. Okay. Now I just need to find a lucky lady. My love for you will last until it dies. Do you know why? It's a fake one, right? So there are two ways to interpret this. Or you will love me forever, or your love for me is fake. Or it's a real tulip. We only have about a week left. Okay. Is it real? It's an artificial tulip. That's the beauty of the pickup line, you see? Technically saying our love will never die, because this is plastic. This guy has never been late for a meeting in his life. That building we just took our bikes through is called the Rijksmuseum and it is the national museum here in Amsterdam. About a five minute bike ride away from the museum, we're now going to meet with a friend of mine who I haven't seen since high school and apparently she's been living in Amsterdam for like the past two years. One of the things that we would recommend that is to use two locks because there are some people that steal the bike so there is a lock that goes right inside the bike. In the wheel. Went, in the wheel and then you have another one that is this chain that you basically tie to a pole. 
<laughs> Didn't see me there, did you? By local suggestion, we've come here to a place called the Avocado Show. I got myself this sweet potato baked with sriracha, avocado, sour cream, and pulled chicken. These are my two friends here. Well, brand new friend. Thank you. Olivia and I went to like high school, elementary school, all sorts of school together. All of the school, yeah. So you guys have eaten here before? Not uh, at this location. No, no. But There's always a big line, but no, today, we can uh, never get in. And what did you get? Well, you chose for me an acai bowl. No I avocado. This. You're so evil. Mine has spice on it, so she can't eat it. It's his new strategy. If you want to keep me away from your food, just put spicy sauce on top. Everything was really, really good, but in particular, I loved the sweet potato with the chicken. But my favorite, our favorite, chai latte. It's really good, guys. It's my top two. So I went into Amsterdam, do as the Amsterdamians do. We're going to be riding double here on this bicycle because they're going to steal the other bike. <laughs> yes. Hey guys, so welcome to uh, the ride. Kathy, my co-pilot here. Right now we're driving through Wobble Dobble Park. <laughs> Fumble Park. Fumble? Fumble. <laughs> but it's spelled with a W. Two W's. Wobble Dobble Park, everyone. All good things involve a wait, and we've been waiting outside for like 20, 30 minutes. We're now at what should be a really, really awesome cocktail spot. Kind of off the beaten path, but back towards central Amsterdam. When you get the menu, every cocktail has like a little story associated with it. But what I'm most interested in is this. I got ketchup for my drink. A ketchup cocktail. That is my nightmare. Oh, uh, see, it's not actual ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> I like yours the most. Yeah, mine is amazing. A couple of drinks later and now it is time to go and get ourselves some fries. Local secret number two. It's not really a secret at all because we got to wait in line again. This is manic pins, mannequin piss, and it's been voted number one Holland fries. A lot of people here, a lot of good fries. Let's try it out. Okay, here goes nothing. That's really good. Dutch mayo is the best. Very nice and crunchy. So we just had our final night here at Mr. Jordan. If you're looking for good value, you gotta check out that hotel right there. It's just awesome. It's definitely not cheap because Amsterdam's super expensive if you're staying downtown, but uh, I think it's probably the best you'll get for your dollar. Now we're heading off to check into another hotel. But we do have one thing we wanna do for breakfast, so. Let's do this. This place is called Re7, kind of a cool spot on the Nine Bridges. It's really trendy, it's got amazing little desserts that you can Instagram. I'd give it a seven, Re7, I'd give it a seven, but the chai latte was a 10, and the snacks are really beautiful. Could be for you. Just checked into our final room here in Amsterdam, and if you're looking for something on the more premium end of what Amsterdam has to offer, and you like modern, then this is where you wanna stay. This is the W Amsterdam, and our room is so modern, I love it. We have a huge window right here, looking out onto the main road here. And this is pretty close to Dam Square, so we're like in the center of Amsterdam. Everything is like just a walk away from here, you don't even need a bike. Tucked away inside this mirror, le toilette, probably 20 foot ceilings. It's like a modern, chic, industrial feel to it. Basically like going through a loft. You have this cozy space that you get to call your own. So one of the main things that you can do in Amsterdam, something that you wouldn't really want to do in the cold time of winter, taking a boat out on the canal is like one of the must-do things here. My friends were telling me last night that apparently you can download an app that will let you rent a boat without any boat license and just take it out on the canal. You should definitely check that out if you're gonna be here during the warmer months. And as promised, I wanted to tell you guys how you can get your new website up and running in under a day. This is Squarespace. And the awesome thing about Squarespace is it allows you to do everything in one place, from selecting your website's name, building a beautiful, beautiful website with just a few clicks. You could have it all up and running in less than a day. I've been using Squarespace for two years now and I've really, really enjoyed using them. And if you use my link down below, it'll allow you to save 10% off your first purchase. This is our final few moments here in Amsterdam and I wanted to conclude, Amsterdam is the kind of place you have to come here to experience it because not everything can be told through video. It's kind of one of the places where you come and you just enjoy the atmosphere. It's got a peaceful side, it's got a fun side, it's got everything you're looking for, and it's so easy to get around because it's a small city. For me, the winter experience is probably not how I'd want to see it. I think I would probably want to come here in the summer or in the spring when you could take out the boats, go on the canal, be outside without wearing a bundle of jackets. So guys, if you're new to the Lost LeBlanc channel, 
Join Team Get Lost by hitting the subscribe button, hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video, and comment down below if you guys have other recommendations for Amsterdam. I make a video every Saturday, almost without fail, sort of. Let's get lost again in the next one.